Now this thing is really interesting because I read about this a long time ago on the web already. But uh, this is the first time I tried this out it's sort of in my hand. They got sensor in it like gyro, accelerometer. It record, you put this on your camera, it record all the movement your camera moves. And you do the stabilization later or in post with the software. The benefit of this is that your camera doesn't have to have stabilization. Like a GH4 without any stabilization. You just mount this on top, record all the movement you've got, and then it do stabilization later on. So you can use any camera you want, any lenses you want. Lenses without image stabilization, uh, any size, even even GoPro, what's more, the footage you've got from your camera, of course, is unstabilized. So you can have a choice of having the stabilized it or not stabilized it, or combine different parts that you want stabilization or you don't want stabilization. Just You can just decide later in editing. So that box is for any camera with a horseshoe. For GoPro, it actually just like an external battery. It's exactly the same size of a GoPro, like the clip-on LCD screen. It fits exactly with the case that comes with your GoPro clip-on LCD screen. And now it's completely waterproof. So when you set up, you put the little box on your camera, you plug the audio into the mic input of your camera. So when you're recording, it saves all the motion data into your micro SD card into the little box and it feeds an uh, audio signal to your actual video that is for synchronization, synchronization later. There's one limitation is that your camera has to have mic input. So now what Dan is trying to do is obviously put it on a pole and then try it out. GH4 without any stabilization, but now with the little box on top. Are we ready? Yes, let's go. So let's go. Don't get it, you like to kill the man. Yeah. No, go in front. Go in front. Oh, watch out, watch out. Whoa. I like your rig. Yeah. <laughs> he's at it again. <laughs> Trying to get himself into trouble. The pitch competition crashed. Oh, you did. <laughs> A little bit louder, that's great. So my name's John Hill. I'm <coughs> it's funny that nobody gives a damn of uh, Dan using that long pole here. They probably think Dan is the official uh, videographer. Yeah. Now, now Dan is moving quite fast. Don't question the wire. That carbon fiber pole is conductive. <laughs> okay, here you go. Yeah. It's, it's to try, and if you. I will do this with the micro SD. Just now, of course, the this is the. This is the whole video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to crop in a little bit, just like any other uh, post processing in image stabilization. It's rendering, it's now rendering. it's rendering. Yeah, it's That's rendering. not too bad, the speed. Yeah, it's flying, it's a drone. <laughs> Now this is like you got software gimbal. Not this is a, a software gimbal. Yeah, this is, this is a software gimbal, not a, not a physical gimbal. Well, you need to turn off the So the last time I have this pole with uh, Osmo on top, 
I actually got something similar to this. It's like a drone shot flying around in the hall. So the sensor is much worse, much worse than this, much worse in high ISO, low light quality. But now with this, you can put a GX4 on top, really good video quality, and you got Osmo level of stabilization. Is it still uh, beta or is it, uh, is it on market? Yeah, uh, we believe uh, at the beginning or middle of March, uh, new selling could be shipped. Mm. So we are still in pre sales of first, so but, uh, the production has begun. We'd have to think uh, to thanks a lot uh, our backers, uh, Kickstarter backers, because they made yeah, a lot yeah. for us too, and they are of course pre pre Sorry, person for us, and we will send uh, uh, and ship for them uh, in priority.